The rank component allows the user to determine the rank of a value in a group of values. Rank is an SQL window function. Window functions provide the user the ability to create analytic queries more efficiently. Window functions operate on a partition or a window of a result set and return a value for every row in that window. The rank of a row is determined by one plus the number of ranks that come before it. In this example job, we'll use the rank function to rank planes by their flight distance for a specific year, starting with individual flights data. To achieve this, a table input component has been used to load a table of flights data, a subset of which will be used for transformation. A filter and an aggregate component have been used to filter out null tail num and airtime values and to total the airtime for each plane by year. Finally, we'll use the rank component to rank different planes by flight distance, organized per year. To add a rank component to your job, drag it onto the canvas from the component dropdown. You can find rank under Components, Data, Transform, or by typing rank in the search bar. A table input component is used to read data from an existing table. We can view the untransformed data first by selecting the table input component and clicking on the sample tab, then clicking refresh data. Here you'll be presented with a sample of the data. Then we'll connect the rank component to our workflow by dragging a connector from the aggregate component to the rank component. First, we'd recommend changing the name of the component to something meaningful, so it's easy to identify. To do this, first select the rank component and navigate to the properties tab. Then click on the ellipsis or double click on name. For our example, we'll call it rank by airtime. Now we need to define the properties of the rank component. Staying on the properties tab, select include input columns. This defines whether the component passes all input columns into the output. We'll set this to yes so that all the aggregated columns from our aggregate component are also added to our output. Then click OK. Next, we need to set the partition data property. This defines how the input data is partitioned in order to perform the rank calculation. The calculation is then performed on each partition. For this example, we'll partition the data by year. This means that our output data will rank the airtime for the year 2000 followed by the air times for the year 1999, and so on for each aeroplane. To do this, open the partition data property, then select the column to partition by, in this case, year. Then press the right arrow button. When you're done, click OK. Next, we'll change the ordering within partitions property. Click the ellipsis to open this up, then press the plus button to add a new row. Then, for the input column, select the column to be sorted within the partition data. In this example, sum airtime. Then, whether to order the data ascending or descending. As we want the largest values first, we'll order descending. Finally, the functions property, which is used to choose the type of rank to perform and the output column name. Press the plus button to add a new row. For this example, we'll select rank as the window function. For more information on the type of window functions available in the rank component and how they work, go to the help tab or visit the Matillion documentation site. Also, we need to set an output column name. For this example, airtime rank. This new column will show the rank of that particular row for that year. To check the rank component has worked, you can sample the data by going to the sample tab while the rank component is selected. Then press the refresh data button. Here we can see each plane ranked by the longest airtime organized per year. So the plane with the highest total airtime for that year is rank one, and the plane with the second highest total airtime is rank two, and so on. For full documentation on the rank component, you can go to the help tab or visit the Matillion documentation site.